Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building. Let's get into this situation. This is a real tragic, sad, difficult situation to even talk about. Just in such disbelief. Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown lost another child like this is crazy this is like a total different situation anybody can fathom ever going through or just even understand the pain and the hurt unless you walked a mile in his shoes and you were you know feeling the pain because you saw suffered tragic loss like bobby brown this is really really a sad situation this young man was only 28 years old he lost his life he is not here he departed from this earth no heartbeat on arrival, no pulse on arrival when they arrived to Bobby Brown Jr.'s home in L.A. And the police arrived because people were suspicious of what's going on with Bobby Brown Jr. They haven't heard from him. They don't know what was happening, so they went to go do a wellness check, and they end up finding Bobby Brown Jr. departed from this earth at 28 years old. Now, this is really a sad and tragic situation. This is just unbelievable. And right now, they are still at Bobby Brown's Jr.'s home. They are investigating. Um, the crime scene is blocked off. I'm calling it a crime scene. It might not be. But when it comes to Bobby Brown, when it comes to Whitney Houston, and when it comes to Bobby Christina, you never know what's going on and what's really true and what's really not because there's so many different people that speculate and believe that... Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina was foul play. So you guys let me know what you think about that situation. But this young man, Bobby Brown Jr., 28 years old, found at home, unresponsive, no pulse, no heartbeat. And right now they're investigating the scene. There are sources that are talking to the blogs and actually saying that they don't believe it's foul play. I wouldn't trust it. I want the investigation. I want everything for real, for real. Like this is no joke. This is tragic unless he has some type of illness, some type of sickness. We don't know the situation, but they are investigating. And this is just really a tragic situation. Bobby Brown has seven children. And now two of his children are not here anymore. Like, this is just really a tragic situation. I don't even know how Bobby Brown can even fathom or even think. I don't even know what's going on with him and how he's feeling because this is what you call tragedy. This is what you call, you know, tr trials and tribulation. How do you keep moving? How do you keep going? Don't judge the man until you walk a mile in his shoes because no parent shall outlive their children. Not one, but two. Now, this is a whole crazy situation. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's not adding up. Bobby, Bobby Brown, the king of R&B. And you have Whitney Houston, the queen of of music the queen of soul just the queen of entertaining and her vocals were absolutely fabulous and they made millions of dollars to have Whitney Houston depart from this earth Bobby Christina the stepson too as well or the adopted child and then have Bobby Christina depart and her friends too it just all seems like this is a a, a story that you never ever want to pick up and read it's a horror story it's something that you never want to go through or ever face I mean like Lord how do you deal with a situation like this I mean this is just awful this is just Mm, mm, mm. Bobby Brown done lost Bobby Christina in 2015. And then a few years later, now he loses his 28-year-old son. Like, what is going on? Ooh, you got to be careful of how you raise your children, what you do around your children, what you show your children, because you are their first role models. You are there. You're nurturing them into becoming who they will become in the future. And this is awful. We don't know what's the situation with Bobby. Bobby Brown Jr. He was a rapper. He was making music. He was in the industry and he was trying to get things popping for himself. Um, he did have a lot of weight loss. He looked a lot different. But Lord, like, you know, how, how do you just, I mean, this is, when I say awful and terrible situation, this is just awful and terrible and nobody ever wants to face this or go through a situation like this. Um, I mean, it's just, it makes your heart break. It makes your heart shatter because you know, some people really deal in difficult situations. And also when it comes to Bobby Brown Jr., you know, this is his mother. Her name is Kim. 
Ward, she was with Bobby Brown for 11 years on and off. She has two children with Bobby Brown. It seems like she was at the Bobby Brown funeral. I mean, not Bobby Brown funeral, but, but Whitney Houston's funeral with Bobby Brown. Allegedly, that's what people are saying. And people are also saying this is why Bobby Brown wasn't treated correctly at the, at the funeral. I don't know if that's true. But when it comes to Kim Ward, I feel very sorry for her. And I send my condolences to her and Bobby Brown. This is a really touchy sad situation and also Kim Ward um was with Bobby Brown when he was with when Whitney Houston and also Kim Ward and Whitney Houston was pregnant at the same time but Wendy Whitney Houston did not you know she had a miscarriage she lost the baby so you know this woman has been around Kim Ward has been around and also Kim Ward has had Bobby Brown in court for many, many years to pay child support too. And that's a difficult situation. So it seems like Bobby did have some money and, and he's living well now, but he had to build a whole new empire. I don't know if Bobby owns his masters. Is he still collecting checks or not? I believe that he is. Um, he was recently touring not too long ago. But this is really a tragic situation. Bobby Brown is married and his current wife is Alicia Brown and they have three to four children together. And it's alleged that Alicia does not let or allow Bobby to see his family members, his brothers, his sisters, any of his family that he was raised with, he, they are not allowed to participate in Bobby Brown's life and he's not allowed to participate in their life too as well. It seems like his wife is very strict and she does not allow him to financially support any of his family members or talk to them or associate with them at all that is really tragic too because that's how you find information that's how you share information that's how you know if someone in your family's in a bad spot because they talk to one family member maybe they won't talk to you and you can let them know what's going on and what could be done and basically you work as a unit together as a family you do not hold and block a person from seeing their family members which is really sad too and with that Bobby did have a lot of tough years. It's been alleged that his family has taken advantage of him too. And Bobby Brown feels like it's a trigger or his wife said it's a trigger when Bobby's around his family. But you just can't abandon your family and start a whole new family and forget about your old family and take care of your new family. That's not how you do it. That's not how you move. And Bobby Brown being a ladies man, being, you know, um, untouchable and being, you know, it's, it's his prerogative. And now he's in a relationship where a woman controls everything he does. You know, he was dominant. He was, you know, cheating. He was out there. He was in the streets. He didn't care. And he, would, he wouldn't care if you wanted to walk away from him or not. You know, because he was Bobby Brown. He was on he was on top of the world. And now that he's older, you know, you do have to change. You know, it's just kind of crazy that this woman is just taking control of his life and telling him what to do, how to do it. And it almost seems like he's captive in that relationship. Like, he's in fear to leave. He's in fear to do anything wrong because he might be codependent to on her and alicia has been around in bobby brown's life for a long time she's been his on again off again manager so she might own all the money she might have all the money and it is what it is i was like mm, mm, mm. you guys tell me what you think about this situation it's just really really heartbreaking i mean it just breaks your heart to even think about it to even know that this had occurred i don't know if bobby brown is in his children's life his older children's life before he took he to his new wife alicia but it seems like he was in bobby brown's junior's life somewhat in the media because he took him to movie premieres he took him to award shows to his two and um they have a lot of pictures together on instagram so you guys let me know what you think about this situation it's just really just i don't know what to say i i you know nobody ever want to walk in bobby brown's shoes you you think about being famous being successful having money having mansion having cars having everything and the one thing you don't have is security and safety 
and protection. So what's all them riches and gold when you are just left naked out here in these streets? Bobby Brown's children should be protected. You know, look at Bobby. Bobby was the king of R&B. Bobby Brown is the king of R&B. He made so many so much music but he did have a problem he did have a substance abuse problem and i just hope he was in his other children's life too as well because it seems like bobby has got it right when it comes to his second wife alicia seems like he's doing all the right things he's working he's coming up with different adventures he's coming up with barbecue sauce he's cooking he's selling a whole lot of things online he seems very active he seems very clean but a lot of people think that you know that's not the case they think that bobby brown is brainwashed he's under control when it comes to his new wife um Alicia, the family accused her of stealing the rights to Bobby Brown's, you know, music, you know, taking all his money and not allowing him to help his family because a family member recently was going through some trouble and needed 20 bucks. Even though, you know, when you think about 20 bucks, what they really want and what they really want to get out that situation, but it's 20 bucks. So Bobby, why your 20 bucks? And that was the last 20 bucks they ever seen. And, um... There could be reasons behind why Bobby choose not to be associated with his family. Um, and it's what you need now is your family. You need that love. You need that support. Your wife has been there. She's your rock. But you need your family too. You need the people that was there when your son was born. The people that helped take care of your son too is too to help you and support you and guide you through what you're going through because they will understand the pain and how close and how tight you were at one point in time with your son, Bobby Brown Jr. Rest in peace. This is really a sad situation. Seven kids. Now he has five kids. Please take care of the five kids that you have. Talk to the children's mother. Talk to them. Tell your wife to fall back. You already lost two. Get in your children's life and protect them and, and teach them how to survive. Because, Bobby, you survived. You survived with your habits. You survived a whole lot. You survived Boston. Survived Mission Hill. You su survived the projects. You survived the industry. Even though you're suffering, going through trials and tribulation, to get through that, you have to have some protection. And your kids need that protection. And they need you to teach them how to stay protected and how to survive.